This is part 8 of cloud computing tutorial. In our previous video, we discussed what is a public cloud. In this video, we'll discuss what is a private cloud, benefits, limitations, and use cases. And in our next video, we'll discuss what is a hybrid cloud. As the name implies, a private cloud is private to one organization. In other words, a private cloud resources and services are used exclusively by one business or organization. Unlike public cloud, a private cloud resources are not shared by multiple organizations. All the hardware infrastructure and software are solely dedicated to one organization. The private cloud is physically located on premise that is at your organization's on-site data center or it can also be hosted by a third party service provider. The important point to keep in mind is a private cloud is private. That is, all the hardware infrastructure and software are solely dedicated to one and only one organization. In a private cloud, it's very easy to customize the hardware and software to meet your organization's specific IT requirements. This is because your organization owns everything that is the hardware software and network so you have complete control and can change anything in any way you want to meet your organization requirements in general private clouds are often used by government agencies financial institutions and any other medium to large sized organizations with business critical operations that want to have enhanced and complete control over their cloud environment. Now, let's look at the benefits of a private cloud. Better security. Resources are not shared with other organizations. So, there is better security with private cloud. Better control. A private cloud belongs to a specific organization. So, you can customize it to meet your specific business needs. Predictable costs. With private cloud, you own all the cloud infrastructure and you're not paying any third-party cloud service provider. So your monthly cooling, energy and maintenance costs are usually predictable. Legal compliance. When you deal with regulated data, for example, financial, healthcare or credit card data, there are strict rules around where the data is stored, who can handle and process it and how it is protected. With the private cloud, you know where your data center is located, so you know where the data is stored and how exactly it is protected. Next, let's look at the limitations. With private cloud, we have limited scalability. The extent to which you can scale up in a private cloud is limited by the amount of infrastructure you have. Beyond certain point, you cannot scale up. So the infrastructure is a limiting factor and you may not be able to scale up at will like in the public cloud. Huge initial capital expenditure. With the private cloud, you have to procure all the cloud infrastructure, hire the workforce to set up and maintain the cloud. So a private cloud is an expensive solution compared to public cloud alternatives, especially for short-term projects. Limited access. A private cloud is usually more secure. We use it for security sensitive applications. Because of these high security measures in place, mobile users may have limited access to the private cloud outside of the corporate network. When to use a private cloud? Well, a private cloud is best suited for highly regulated businesses like financial and healthcare institutions. Tech companies that require robust security and complete control over the cloud infrastructure also benefit from the private cloud. Large organizations that require advanced and custom data center solutions also benefit from private cloud. In our next video, we'll discuss hybrid cloud. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.